Deep Seek Coders version 2 is out. Deep Seek Coder is an open source mixture of expert code language model that achieves performance comparable to GPT-4 Turbo in code specific tasks. If you don't know what mixture of expert model is, it is a type of model that combines the predictions of multiple expert networks to improve overall performance and generalization. In a mixture of expert model, the input is first fed into a getting network which determines the weights and assignments for each expert network. Each expert network then processes the input and their outputs are combined using the weights from the gating network. This allows the model to selectively utilize the strengths of different experts for different inputs, leading to improved accuracy and robustness. Because in the coding, we really need that accuracy, so having a mixture of expert model in coding arena is really awesome. In this video, we are going to install DeepSeek Coder locally on our system and then we will play around it on various coding benchmarks. Before that, let's have a bit more look on this model. And I also want to take advantage of this occasion to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I would highly recommend them. I'm going to drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50%, which you can use with range of GPUs. Okay, coming back to DeepSeek Coder V2. So, this DeepSeek Coder V2 is further pre trained from an intermediate checkpoint of DeepSeek V2 with additional 6 trillion tokens. Through this continued pre training, DeepSeek Coder V2 substantially enhances the coding and mathematical reasoning capabilities of DeepSeek V2 while maintaining comparable performance in general language tasks. Compared to the DeepSeek Coder's 33 billion previous version, DeepSeek Coder V2 demonstrates significant advancements in various aspects of code related tasks as well as reasoning and general capabilities. Also, in this new version, DeepSeek Coder has expanded its support for lang programming languages from 86 to 338 go figure. And the context length has been increased from 16k to 128k. There have been a lot of benchmarks which they have done and you can find the results on their model card and I will drop the link to it in the video's description. And when you would look at those benchmark, you will see that DeepSeek Coder V2 has achieved superior performance compared to GPT-4 Turbo, Cloud 3 Opus, and even Gemini 1.5 Pro in coding and math benchmarks. And these are the two things which we will be testing out on our local system. Now, it comes in four flavors, the DeepSeek Coder V2, I mean. First one is DeepSeek Coder V2 Lite Base and Lite Instruct. Both have total parameters 16 billion, but active parameters are just 2.4 billion. And con context length is 128k for all the models. And then we have DeepSeek Coder V2 Base 236 billion total parameters. <clears throat> and in that one, 21 billion parameters are just active. When we say that total parameter and only few of them are active, what it means is that the model has total of 16 billion parameter like this light one which are learnable weights and biases used to make predictions or take actions but if it has only active parameter 2.54 billion out of that 16 it means that only 2.4 billion of the total 16 million parameters are actively used during inference inference mean when the model is making predictions or taking actions as per response to your prompt okay so now you know what exactly is meant by the this uh, technical mumbo jumbo of these models now let's go to the jupyter notebook on my local system and i'm going to in first in download this model and try to run it now the gpu which i'm going to use for this is this one nvidia rtx not this one let me quickly show you this is my ubuntu machine and my gpu is this nvidia rtx a6000 which has 48 gb of vram so i will try my best to uh, see if it works on this one because still it's a big model even in the light version but at least you will have the instructions so let's first quickly check if we have a uh, torch 
and transformers installed i believe i do have it if you don't have it just simply replace this show with install and it will install it so you see both of them are installed let me now grab the model and i'm just going to put it here in the next cell so in this one i'm what i'm simply doing is i'm just importing the auto model for causal lm and tokenizer then i'm grabbing the tokenizer and then i am grabbing this model the deep seek coder v2 so let me run it i think i missed uh the last commands parenthesis it's let me overwrite it yep this looks great okay cool let me run it now and you can see that the model is now being downloaded there are four shards of it and i think every shard is similar size so it means that it is more than you know i think 30 gigs so i'm not sure if it is going to fit it on my um, system but let's see at least i would be able to share the commands with you and you know the architecture of it so let's wait for it to finish and then we'll see how it goes her tensor is being downloaded and now it is downloading the last tensor which is done it is going to load the all the checkpoints or the shards to the gpu and this is where if it fails it fails so now you see it is loading it so if it won't be there won't be sufficient memory it is going to give me the out of memory error so let's wait for it to load all the shards onto the gpu so three shards are loaded last one is being loaded and i think we are lucky it got loaded nope still loading you see the star so let's wait for this star to turn into number and then we'll be sure and that is done seems like our lucky day today so let's do the inference with it first prompt i'm asking it write a quick sort algo then we are sending it to to tokenizer to convert that text into tokens then we are asking the model to generate the output and then we are decoding the output back let me run it and there you go it has printed us a very very fine response model looks really good quality and you see it says write a quick sort algorithm and then it has even given me the merge sort one thing i would highly appreciate if it would have given me an english or whatever language it uses a synopsis of what it did anyway so let's try to ask it another question so in this one i'm just going to ask it okay sorry about that let me paste it properly okay in this next one i am asking it that identify and repair the bug in this ruby method um, and then i have given it a ruby method so let's see what it does let me run it let's wait for it to come back there you go so the response looks quite good yep so that's an anagram and then it has given me um, some of the test cases there too which is good that i like and then this is a bit of a synopsis maybe because i'm just doing the max length to this it is curtailing it so my bad maybe i'm going to just increase it to uh, i'll just say maybe about 600 then let's try out another prompt this one is great let's try to give it a translation task so i'm asking it to translate this c code into ruby and i have increased the max length max length of input output let's see let's wait for it to come back there you go so the response is perfectly well no doubt about that that is good the translation is also work okay so let me try to ask it a couple of maths question first one i'm asking it uh, solve for this equation where x is a real number let's see what model does let me run it and there you go so model has come back the correct answer is two let's see what model does here okay so it is going on and on maybe i will just increase it to 2000 maybe so that we would know what happening 
or I'll just say just give me and the final answer let's try out again the model took a long time to give me the answer and look at the answer what the heck is this okay i'm not sure what this model did here i think this was too hard for model anyway let's try to or maybe it was my gpu i don't know let me try to ask it another final question now this equation the correct answer is 20 so let's see if model is able to do it it's a huge model even with a few uh, active parameters this takes long time so you would have to be patient with the responses and this time model has come back with a very correct answer as you can see and then it is also sharing the reason you know all the questions i don't know what exactly it does afterwards so i think that is why it takes a lot of time it does all of the permutations here and there anyway a really good model i'm quite impressed by it the size is a bit larger to my liking but still i think quite a good model and given the 338 language support makes sense so that's it guys i will drop the link to this model in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching